Good evening, everyone. I'm so blessed and honored to be a recipient of the USGA AJGA President's Leadership Award. To be playing in the prominent Tournament of Champions with all of you talented golfers is just as exciting. Ever since the 10th grade, when I began playing in AJGA, I always dreamed about playing in one of their invitational tournaments. For this goal to have come true proves that serving your communities is just as important as winning golf tournaments. Without the help of many people, I would not be here accepting this award. I want to thank the AJGA for presenting me with this prestigious award in addition to all the opportunities that this wonderful organization opens to junior golfers every year. Second, thanks to the USGA for this award and for sponsoring Leadership Links, a fundraising initiative for AJGA members. Third, thank you to Rolex for sponsoring this week. Finally, if it had not been for my parents' love and support, I would not be standing here accepting this award. In addition to my parents' support, my hard work in, in helping individuals with special needs began nine years ago when I started tutoring my youngest brother, Jeremiah, who was diagnosed with autism. Because of this mental disorder, his speech and social interactions were hindered. The doctors predicted that he would never be able to do normal activities such as participate in sports. Unfortunately, the doctors were right at first. Because Jeremiah struggled with reciting the alphabet, riding a bike, tying his shoes, and many other simple tasks that most children are able to master in a short period of time. I thought a sport would be a fantastic outlet for Jeremiah because golf especially teaches critical thinking. Still, Jeremiah faced many adversities. One challenge was that it was extremely difficult for him to go to the golf course because he has a hard time staying still and keeping, and st and keeping, qu keeping quiet. So watching me play a four and a half hour round was not feasible. The second dilemma was that Jeremiah loves action and golf proceeds very slowly, except, of course, in AJGA tournaments. <laughs> However, I do not want his disability to stop him from learning this wonderful game filled with integral life lessons. My core plan of action began with my goal for Jeremiah in mind. I began an organization called Angelica's Angels at the Chartwell Center in New Orleans, the school where Jeremiah attends. The Chartwell Center is a school for individuals with autism from ages 4 through 30. At Chartwell, I give weekly golf lessons to the students and teach them the life lessons embedded in the sport. Founding Angelica's Angels was very re rewarding because this has helped the individuals who have participated both mentally and physically. Many of them have never participated in the sport. When they successfully strike a ball off the tee and hit their target, they learn what it's like to accomplish something and how to encourage others to get better. There was a boy who would not participate in the beginning, but now he is fully engaged in the game of golf. One parent is even thinking about purchasing his, her son a set of golf clubs. Another child would miss the ball at first, but now can hit the ball off the tee in just one try. From finishing this year-long service project, I learned that golf is really a sport that everyone can play and enjoy. Because of the improvements I've seen directly help in participant, my, to help for participants, my future aspiration is to write golf lesson plans designed strictly for individuals with mental disorders. I would like to thank Jeremiah for his determination. If it had not been for him, I would not have known to start a golf organization for individuals with special needs. Working with these willing participants, I learned to appreciate my accomplishments and to not take certain tasks for granted because it can be challenging to some. From the success of Angelica's Angels, I gained confidence in my service projects. I began an ACT program called Angelica's Intense Standardized Prep Course. In 11th grade, I had a composite score of a, of a 17. I always struggled on the English and reading, but I found a way to get all of my scores in the 30s in just a few weeks. It was all because of a new reading strategy that I taught myself. After that, I started three ACT prep classes across New Orleans. My students have improved substantially. Many have gone up three to eight points. I enjoy teaching the ACT because I get to help students get college scholarships and learn college readiness skills so they can also pursue their dreams. I would like to thank God for the journey that I've been on because I learned to face challenges and set goals to overcome them. The process from going through those adversities has made me a better person. Finally, I will continue to lead my community and encourage all of you to get involved with leadership links. You all will be able to leave a lasting impact on your communities and gain skills that you will carry with you in life. Thank you, and good luck in the tournament tomorrow. <laughs>